to have uh, our Yagiwara antennas here. So the first one is signal source and the next one is a power meter. We're going to connect together with this uh, wire. A metal wire you can actually always, always touch the metal the part of the wire. And now we are going to turn it on with the power meters and signal source. And we're going to obtain PT from the following design. Vary the frequency to 2.5. And now yeah, we have another solution. Instead of doing that way, what we're going to do is uh, keeping the plates closer and we can actually measure the PT from here. Oh yeah, before that you need to know what the plates are from the off. Uh, uh, the, the first one is reflectors and the next comes the dipoles that are directors. You need to know about the basic elements of these plates and they may be asking the Viber questions. We're going to keep it very close to find PD. This is another solution. You can actually do the first one as well, but this one seems to be easier. Uh, we, could, we shall just connect it to power meter. Um, let me connect it to power meter. Now that you can observe the value, this one will be considered as PT. As you can see, the 7.277 dB. That's what we are achieving. Just note down the value as it is. Now that we are done, now we are going to move it away. And this one brings us PR. That's a receiving power. The first one which you conducted is a transmitting power. Now it's a receiving power. The further, the longer we keep, you get the PR value as shown there. Now that we're done with the PR value, we can go ahead and find the measurable degrees that can be rotated towards clockwise and anticlockwise. Let's go for it. Now that we can see, I'm going to rotate every 10 degrees. This will give me the more of the values. You need to note down every 10 degrees at the power meter. There will be different power levels. Make sure you know about the minus and plus degrees. Always keep it as it is and just rotate the clockwise 90 degrees and get back to the anti-clockwise 90 degrees. It's the horizontal plate. The E-plane has been finished now. Let's go for the vertical plane. The vertical plane is attached similarly. Just make sure you rotate the same as it is. Do not change the frequency. Do not change anything. I'm just going to rotate as it is from the just plus 90 to minus 90 back again. Go to clockwise and then come back to anti-clockwise with the 90 degrees. Note on all the 10 degree values and you're done with the experiment. Just show it to the externals. Thank you. Ah, yeah, that's that trick. This is an introduction. Oi, my name.